Hey students, welcome you all on the behalf of Rahul Anand tutorial. So as you know that I am Rahul Anand and this is Samarta on my channel whose name is actually the Rahul Anand tutorial. So now let's begin with the very interesting topics which are going to be asked in terms of your need of in the aims of in the all India pre medical examination. So these are literally belonging from which of the chapters of your books. So these are belonging from the excretory product and elimination. So now let's understand about these means what are actually the nephrons. So when we are talking about the nephron, so you have to understand the primary fact. So these are what? So these are the structural and functional unit of kidney. So you are very clear about that means what are actually the kidney. So kidney are the bean shaped structure. Often these are having the certain types of the parts in it. So now <clears throat> let's understand about this. So when we are talking about the nephrons, you have to understand the certain things. So these are actually how much centimeter long? Fine. So these are around 3 centimeter long. Often when we are talking with, with reference to the here in terms of its diameter. So you are very clear about what are actually the diameter. So it will be around how much? So it will be around 20 to 60 mu. Often in term, when we are talking about the circle case, so it will be having the half portion with reference to the radius. And when these particularly combine in term from the center, but look, mean 2 to radius, then it will be coming under what case? So it will be coming under your diameter case. Often when we are talking about these case, means what? Means in term of your nephron. So it will be resembling the particular structure. So these are actually resembling the what kind of the structure? So these are resembling the tubular structure. Find here. <coughs> now, often when we are talking about these means in terms of the human being, often in terms of our kidney. So there will be how much of the nephrons literally present? So we will be having around how much? 10 lakh of the nephrons in terms of our kidney. Often, often, often when we are talking about these cases in terms of the nephrons. So you are often having the exception case. So we have understood about how much of the nephrons are literally being present in terms of our kidney, often in terms of the human body. So it will be around how much? So it will be around 10 lakh. Now, so when we are talking about the exception case, meaning in terms of the frog, often in terms of the rabbit, so you will be having how much of the nephrons in terms of their kidney? So they will be particularly resembling around here in the 20,000 in terms of what? In terms of your frogs. Often when we are talking about the case of the rabbits, so it will be holding around how much of the nephrons in terms of their kidney. So there will be presence of around 2 leg of the here, mean the nephrons in terms of their kidney. Often <clears throat> when we are talking about these roles, means what are actually the process or other the function of our these means in terms of the nephron. So these are known as what? So these are known as the microfiltration unit with reference to what? The microfiltration unit with reference to our kidney. Find it. As well, when we are talking about these cases in terms of the nephron, so you are having the two different types of the parts in it, mainly in terms of your nephron. So now, so these are actually what? So these are the globules, then what? So these are the globules, then the renal tubules. Now, let's understand about these means what are actually the. So when we are talking about these cases, mainly in terms of what are actually the globules, so what are actually the globules? So your globules are actually the thin one here with the blood capillaries. Often, when we are talking about this means in terms of what are actually the capillaries. So you are very clear about what are actually the capillaries. Remember about the case of the here breathing as well as the respiration case in terms of the breathing. So there we are we were actually having the different types of the vital organs such as what starting from the nose states and ending towards the alveoli region. And after that there are presence of the capillaries playing an important role to transport what to transport the oxygenated blood from what region. Tell me from the alveoli is twice the rest of the portion of the body and in terms of the here <coughs> in the deoxygenated blood carrying mechanism so what will be happening the same reverse process will be employed and starting from what risk from that capillaries only and last towards what case last towards the no steel case in terms of what in terms of your deoxygenated blood purification or either the exchange of gases in terms of the deoxygenated blood process mechanism but literally when we are talking about the case of the reverse mechanism in terms of the oxygenated, the case will be quite a bit different. So you remember what are actually the capillaries? So these are the micro thread playing important role as like what? As like the arteries as well as the veins now. So when we are talking about these cases means what are actually the arteries? Tell me. So what are arteries playing important role to carry out the oxygenated blood? Means what? The O2 which are quite a bit diatomic in nature in terms of the different vital geographical ways with reference to our here body it is mini term from the thoracic cavity or either with reference to the abdominal cavity or either the reverse process will be employed 
on the other hand, when we are talking about the veins, so these are what? So this will play an important role in terms of what? For carrying the carbon dioxide, I mean the deoxygenated blood. Often in terms when we are talking about the heart mechanism, the role with reference to your arteries as well as the veins will be quite a trace of product. So these are actually what? So they are particularly the certain types of the complex eh? resulting in terms of the mechanism of the circulation. So we will be understanding about that mechanism in terms of our next lecture. Now, so when we are talking about these cases, means what are actually the globules. So you understand what are actually the globules. Now, so as well, when we are talking about these cases in terms of the globules, so you have to understand the certain facts in it, such as what? Such as in these cases, the blood will be carried out in terms of what? So your blood will be carried into your globules by what mechanism? By the help of the efferent arterioles. As well as when we are talking about the reverse mechanism, means the blood will be abstracted out with reference what, from what? With reference from your globules. So it will be coming under what case? So it will be abstracted out, of course, by the mode of the reverse mechanism. Often these are given the specialized name meaning. So these are known as what? So these are known as the here with the efferent, efferent, efferent arterioles. Now, now let's understand about the second part when we are talking about the case in terms of the renal tubule. So these are actually what? So these are the second most important part when we are comparing with reference to the case of the nephrons. So you are very clear about what are actually the nephrons. So now let's proceed with reference to these mean what are actually the renal tubules. Often what are actually the broad categories in terms of these. So it will be having the following parts in it such as what? So it will be having here in the bowman capsules. Then what? Then it will be often having the proximal convoluted tubules. Then what? Then the hellless loop. So now let's understand which what are actually the bowman's capsules. So when we are talking about the case, mean what are actually the Bowman's capsules? So these are actually what? So these are bearing the cup shaped structure with reference to what? With reference to the double wall epithelia. So you are very clear about that means what are actually the epithelia. So these are particularly the types of the tissue. So we will be understanding about these cases in terms of the histology. So what are actually the histology? The branch of science in which we deal about the tissue. So tissue are what? So tissue are the group of cells often being divided in terms of the broad category such as what such as the muscular tissue, the epithelial tissue, the dense connective tissue. Now, so we'll be understanding about that in terms of the next lecture. So you understand here? Now, so let's proceed with reference to the second case. So we'll be having the PCT, means what? The proximal convoluted tubules, fine. So, so when we are talking about these cases, means what are actually the PCT, mean what? Means the proximal convoluted tubules. So these are actually what? So these are present in terms of the cortical risk of your kidney. Now, so when we are talking about these cases, so we will be understanding, so find here the particular diagram. So it will be having the ultra structure of the nephron. So these are often having what? The PCT means the proximal convoluted tubules. Find here. Here. So primarily starting from this portion and ending towards the this portion. So these are coming under what? So these are coming under your PCT. As well, when we are talking about these cases, means in terms of the PCT. Diagram. So it will be resembling what kind of the structure? So it will be resembling the here, I mean the highly coiled tubular structure. So you are very clear about the that. So we have just seen in terms of the ultra structure of the nephron. Fine. Now, so when we are talking about these cases, I mean in terms of the highly coiled structure. So these are resembling what kind of the structure? So these are quite similar as like the case of the protein. 